I'm going to show you um, how to work out estimates now. So we've been asked in the first example to do 31 times 4.92 over 0.2. So what we normally do is round each number to one significant figure. So 31 would be 30 to one significant figure. It right, wouldn't be 3, that would, 3 is not an estimate of 30, so we've got to be close to the number, we've got to change it to something that's easier to work with. Now times 4.92, well, that is very close to 5. And then on the bottom, 0 0.2. Now, always show you're working, if you don't get the full answer you'll get some for what you've done. So we could write the top as 150, but we've got this awkward 0 0.2. So what we can do is multiply both bits by 10. And if we do that, then we will um, get our point 0.2 up to 2. And that's much easier now to work with. All right, so if we multiply 0 0.2 by 10, that becomes 2. We have to multiply the top by 10 so that the number stays um, the same. And we have 1500 over 2, which is 700 and 50. So um, on to the second question which is fairly similar. So we're going to change this into 7 and the 191 into 200 and then we're going to have a 0 0.02. So 7 times 200 is 1400. So it's 1400 over 0 0.02. So if we times it by 10, we get 14,000 over 0 0.2. And we have to times it again um, by, times by 2, times by 2, sorry, times by 10, times by 10. And if we times it by 10 again, we get another naught on the end. We now have four naughts, but we've got that into 2. So we've got 140,000, needs to be divided by 2. So the answer is 70,000. So the technique to help you get rid of the difficult decimal on the bottom is to multiply by 10. But remember, if you multiply the bottom by 10, you multiply the top by 10. I could have gone a little bit fast here and said multiply it by 100, but I think it's easier if you just do a zero at a time for you to understand what is happening. So the answer is 70,000.